weekend for U.S. Olympic gold here on TBS. Tomorrow into our special live U.S. boxing of championships in Colorado Springs. But coming up next from Madison Square Garden, Annika Roche, a three-time gold medalist from 1991 Pan American Games in the women's 800 as our special Friday edition of U.S. Olympic gold continues for Madison Square Garden. Women are in the spotlight. It is the women's 800 meters. The American record is held for 12 years. Mary Slaney setting the mark in San Diego back in 1980. And here you see Joetta Clark winning the Milrose Games on these same boards earlier this month. Sprinting by Meredith Rainey and Maria Mutola, two people who she'll face this evening as Joetta Clark runs for the Joe Clark International Track Club. Her father, famous Joe Clark, high school principal in New Jersey. And she'll face Anna Keyrote, number one ranked 800 meter runner in the world a year ago. And as we mentioned, Meredith Rainey, a local product, grew up running on these boards in Fred Thompson's Colgate Games. And it'll be interesting to see how Anna Carroth does. She has never run on a track of this size. And she looked very poor in her first indoor race ever at the Mobile One Invitational on a 200-meter track. Afterwards, she went down to the University of Florida in Gainesville and said to train there for two weeks and said to the runners, teach me how to run indoor track. Joetta Clark in the lead, but also watch Maria Matola. We saw her with a great finishing kick. She won earlier this year as well. She won the Sunkiss meet, and I think she would have won the World Outdoor Track and Field Championships as a teenager, except that she just didn't know how to run tactically. And her coaches, Jeff and Margot Fund, have said, you've got to learn to run from the front. You need to get out of trouble. And that's just what they have her doing here. Running very quickly right now. Well, she's been shut out in the stretch. Right now, she wants to make sure she stretches the lead and she doesn't have to worry about that. Can she hold off Joanna Clark? Well, Clark is such a savvy runner. She says she loves running against these younger athletes and they reinvigorate her. But uh, she's getting quite a challenge here from Maria Mutola, from Mozambique, Mukuto, Mozambique, where she used to play soccer on the street. Somebody said, why don't you join the soccer club? She did, and they said, well, no, no girls allowed on soccer teams, but we'll let you run track. And that's how she came to be one of the best in the world in her event. Goes to Springfield, Oregon High School, and she has the lead. Saw her earlier today. She was about to set off to see the World Trade Center, but now she faces a tough challenge in second from Meredith Rainey. Rainey, a very savvy runner. And here comes Meredith Rainey on the outside of Maria Matula. As they push each other. This time, Matula stays out of trouble. Meredith Rainey is second. And Joanna Clark's third. Matula known as a physical runner and unofficially has run very close to the high school record held by Mary Slaney, a record she was searching for. Now, what happened was Mutola was in the lead. Rainey made just the right move, moved up alongside her to be in position, try to get by before the last turn. Mutola picked up the pace, didn't let Rainey by, but Rainey was going to stay there right on her shoulder, but she got too close. Mutola did nothing wrong. It was Rainey who chopped her stride. And really, that put her out of the race as Mutola sprinted away to victory. Excellent running by both women. Rainey just leaned in a little too much, and Mutola running on the outside of the lane, as it is her right to do, to shut the door on Rainey. And we saw Maria Mutola get in with Patty Sue Plummer, did we not, earlier? That was in the Olympic gold race from the Prefontaine Classic last June. And Mutola in the home stretch in Tokyo got into a little bit of trouble. But here she's out ahead of the trouble and wins the race.